video is how to put the glass frame together. We're gonna have two of these stands. They're perfect. We're gonna have a second tan. We're gonna have a power tan. And minutes for okay? So you're gonna know the difference between your um, hours and minutes because your hours is longer. Longer than the, uh, the um, minutes hand. I'll clean my stone off, or clean my picture frame off. You're also gonna have your clock piece to put on. You're gonna have four of these diamond pieces. back pieces so every clock that you buy blank clock you buy and have all these pieces to go with it so the way i just learned how to put this together is you're gonna I put the put the stand on first it makes sense to put it on first so you can stand it up and go from there so put this piece on the to the back at the bottom right? and you're gonna take this piece the diamond piece and it's a screw on it so you got a female and a male in so you're going to screw that on screw to that piece now you got one stand Put to the other end and do the exact same thing go to the back your diamond piece screw it on Hold on to the hole. So now you have your stand. Standard. Beautiful, just like that. And now you gotta finish it. So these pieces are accent pieces, so they match your bottom two beads. You're gonna have your front uh, bead and then the back piece of that. And this also has a Phillips. You can use a Phillips screwdriver to screw it on if, you're not, if your hand's not strong enough, or you can just slide it in there and go from there. Screw it on. And this back here is one that's already put together. I just that's my blank that I'm gonna sample. That's uh, the sample of how to put it together. Put your other end on. And what I learned with putting that one together was it's so much easier to put your stand on first. So you can stand it up. So here, right. So you can stand it up and work with it like this. It's way easier to work with it like this. So this piece is on now. Like I said, you need to screw it on tighter. Just get your little Phillips screwdriver and it'll put it on there. So that's pretty much all of it put together right there. Now the clock piece. So I'm gonna stick that through the hole in the back. I suggest putting this ring up to have it pointed up. You're also gonna have this little gold ring that's going to come with your set you're going to screw this piece on and when you put it on let me show you that and how it's sitting up right there so like the the piece that you can let me show you so it has this piece has a ring at the top and then a skinny piece at the bottom Put it in the camera like this so you know this lip part and this is a lip here okay it's a lip right here so that part is going to be facing forward so you want that lip piece facing forward and stick it on there and it also has a screw so you screw that on there uh, like i said if you need stronger hands um 
something I did figure out earlier that worked really well for me was I just was spinning the back piece to get it on there. And then screw it in just fine until I got it tight enough. on there now. That piece is on there. Okay. You're going to take your minutes hand, the shorter one of the two. And the minutes hand is thicker too. So you, you can see it's thicker. This is the minutes. This is the hour hand. It is thicker and it's shorter. You're going to put that on. You're going to press it on. And it also has a front and back to it. And you'll be able to tell the back. The back has like that little lip area. And the front is flat. So make sure the flat end is facing you. You're gonna stick that on there and press down hard as you can so it is six. And you're gonna take your hour hand. Same thing, it's flat. So the flat piece is facing you. You're gonna press that on. Press that on as well, okay? And then they're both sticking there. They're there as a clock, it looks good. And then you're gonna take your second hand. The second hand has this little piece right here, and it's a hole right there, so it's gonna stick right in here on this little needle that's in this part. Stick it in there. So now your clock is all the way put together. And then I'm gonna take the battery out of this one. Put it all the way through. And you see how it looks just like that and then you, you can actually spin the little red wheel and it'll move the pieces for you and then your back is right here you put your battery in i suggest going this way first a lot of people try to bend this thing first on this side nope go the other way first you just stick it in there and it slides right in just like that so positive in negative in yeah, I think that's what it is. Positive in, positive in down here, away from the red. Negative in down here. Turn your clock around. Sit it down. Ta-da. It's ticking. It's working. It works great. Please go to flossyblanks.com and purchase one of our um, clock blanks. As you can see, this is gorgeous. And um, this how it comes. It doesn't come put together for you. You will have to do the work that I did. That's why I'm doing the video. And this video should be posted on my website at the bottom of the um, home page. We put how-to videos. If you don't know, you will know by the time you do those how-to videos. So we only have a couple on there right now. But this is also a way to put the clock together. Uh, we did a video earlier of how to sublimate on the clock. You can look at that too. because We um, put that on, on the website too at the bottom. So you can see how to sublimate on the clock. to get your design on there. As well as now put it together. Alright, have a good night. Thank you.